Hello, 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 John Mason. How is everybody? Hope you're all well. Recovering from your Thanksgiving. I had a pretty good one. I had a lovely one. Anyway, we have to deal with with reality and that it, and one of them is George Santos. The the Republican controlled House Ethics Committee has finally issued some issues a reprimand against Santos because of his uh, his lying and cheating, grifting and and they're actually going to vote on the idea of expelling him from the house. It, Lord speed the day. Is that possible? But Santos, playing the hero, playing the martyr, is bragging that he'll, he'll resist it from, from beginning to end. And A, that does not impress me. He's a, he's a coward and a punk. Just like uh, just like Donald, what's his face? <clears throat> and what bothers me is, is how the Republican Party all this time was willing to put up with him knowing full damn well he, he knowing full damn well he was a thief. He was a fraud. He was a hypocrite. I mean, think about it. He was a gay man in a party that uh, is virulently, that is dominated by virulently anti-gay, anti-trans people. Like factions such as, uh, you know, the religious right and those guys, and total neo-Nazis. But the picture is out without that he was a drag queen in Rio. He stole money from a woman, oh, her entire fortune, left her penniless. And he kept making lies about his his job background, his education, his sports background, picking up stories about his parents, seeing he was Jewish, but then he said he was Jew-ish, whatever the hell that is. I'll contrast this. Well, I'm not saying that the Democratic Party is angelic. Yeah, it's the bad apples. But I think the thing we're doing better to weed them out, to pick them out of the barrel before they rot the rest of them. I'm talking about Bob Menendez, Senator from New Jersey. Senator from New Jersey, uh, charged with all forms of corruption, and people in the party, in the party, are urging that he step down now. Apparently, he's not willing to do that. So, it's up to the people in New Jersey to do it for them. And with the people in the 3rd Congressional District of New York, well, they'll be the court of last result. If, resort, if, they, if the House doesn't break, gets hit out of his ass to to expel Santos, the people of his district will. That seems to be the norm anymore in the Republican Party. Hucksters and charlatans and con artists, religious zealous, willfully ignorant people, 
and fascist. Yes, I dare say the word fascist. And now, that seems to be the constituency of the Republican Party anymore, the direction they're headed for. Straight up authoritarianism, restricting the Restricting reading material for uh, for kids, terrorizing Im immigrants, allowing the terrorization of uh, allowing the terrorization of LGBTQ people. Let's look at. I mean, let's look at Santos. Didn't the party do a throw enough background check on him to see whether he was kosher, to see whether his story is uh, real? Apparently not. not. Well, with opposition, you can't do opposition research. Find all the information you can about your opponent and find something to use against them. It's especially important that you do opposition research on yourself to see whether you have any uh, skeletons in your closet to either settle with or weed out before the media does, before your opponent does. Apparently, the, par the party in New York State didn't do their due diligence. They just let the guy, let the little bitch uh, run for off, uh, run for the Congress. Hey. Apparently, a vote here, a vote there, they added up. I'm also thinking now about Arthur Jones. Arthur Jones, in, he was running for Congress as a Republican in, a, in, in the Chicago area. And it's been found out that he, was, he is an infamous neo-Nazi. Actual Nazi, swastikas, brown shirt, the whole bit. And the party just allowed this guy to run on a post. Could they have the party a leader, a fish committee and the, the county commission, committee, couldn't they have run someone else against him? What's happened? The, uh, so it is. The Republican Party is that corrupt. And it has to be weeded out. I mean, voted out of every office coming up. Each and every office. In Philadelphia, we've started with uh, our, our own city council. In a city charter. There are several, about five, I believe, uh, city, city council seats at large, not representing a particular district. And, and traditionally, and two, no, actually seven, I believe, and two of those, two of those seats are reserved for the minority party. And, and, it's, and for decades, the Republican Party was was a minority party, and but now and now, the working family candidates of the working families party won those seats, Kendra Brooks and Reverend Nicholas O'Rourke. I'm not saying there's any neo Nazis in, or fascists or, or authoritarians in the Republican Party here in Philly, but I'm thinking about the whole nation. Is, effect, is affecting the whole nation. Surrey has infected Pennsylvania. Where well, I'm glad to say, candidates for school boards throughout the throughout the state, so endorsed by Moms for Liberty, you know those, you know those bimbos. There, they were voted out. They lost. The Moms for Liberty candidates 
lost pretty much every one of their seats. So, you start here and now, in your district, in your city, in your school district, on your block, to fight fascism and corruption in general. We can do it. And don't go, don't worry about the news media whining about how, uh, talking about uh, Joe Biden, a senile old codger. What about Trump? Is he a spring chicken at 77? How does his mind work? Such as it does. My fellow Americans, I urge you, vote out every Republican in office. Perhaps, perhaps, I'm not betting on it, but perhaps. The party will reorganize and weed out the fascist elements and the racists and the white supremacists and religious bigots and be a responsible right of center party, respectful of democratic norms. But don't bet the ranch on it. And on that cheering note, advertisements. It's a lot of work to put together these videos and my blog and my podcast. It is work. I'm proud of that work. And I need I need help. I need financial help. I ask you to click on click on my website that you see down there, johnomason.com. And then click the button for buy me a coffee or PayPal and donate a little something to me so I can keep this work going. Thank you. And also there's my, my, my novel soldier of the cross, which is available on amazon.com is a story of David Lucas, who as a young man is a horror chaser, School bully and drunk. It's in the early 60s and he gets in trouble in the army. And he comes out of it a born again fanatical Christian, a zealous manly man for Christ. Just want to be a soldier for Christ. But the way he goes about leads him to catastrophe. Do please look at him. Look it up. Soldier of the Cross on Amazon.com. And now, one of my favorite small businesses, Hemperific LLC, Hemperific LLC.com. Hemperific is a lovely little CBD product store located on Snyder Avenue, near 15th Street in South Philadelphia. There you'll find some of the finest cannabis infused products. Gummies and flour and candies and lip balm and drinks and teas and hand sanitizer and dog trees. Yep, dog trees. Please look them up. Hemperificllc.com. And now my beloved career and business coach, Michelle Snow. Michelle is most excellent to help you develop your small business or professional career. Let you know what you're doing right, where you need work, and help you network with other up-and-coming entrepreneurs and professionals. Please look her up. Hemperif- no, growwithsnow.com. Growwithsnow.com. Okay. Okay. And speaking of sales, speaking of entrepreneurship, my favorite little my favorite neighborhood dive bar in Philadelphia, Dirty Franks on 13th and Pine, on, on Sunday, December the 3rd, will have its annual Traveling Weirds craft show. Craftspeople from all over the area, 
were displayed are handcrafted works. I myself will be bringing my 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 books for sale, including copies of Soldier of the Cross, and I'll have my notary equipment ready to serve as the notary public for Pennsylvania. And it'll be a lot of fun. Meet so many interesting people, have some beers, have some fun. Do please look them up. Okay. Alrighty then. Or as it come, cats and kittens. Stay tuned. Thank you. Bye.